So hey, Lawn Care Nation, in this video, we're gonna take a look at a very cool new measuring device, and it's called the Mosier One by Mosier. Now this little uh, device here, uh, I can see being very handy for uh, landscaping and lawn care companies. It's the world's first motion-based measuring device, and it can measure over 20 different ways simply by moving the device around from point to point. Now, the cool thing about the Mosier One is that uh, it works in conjunction with the Mosier app, and uh, this little guy will actually draw your layout as you are uh, moving the device around. So at the end of your measurement, you have basically like a floor plan with all your measurements uh, laid out there on the screen, and it'll tell you things like the square footage already calculated of the area that you measured. This guy can measure in 1D, it can measure in 2D, and it can even measure in 3D mode. The uh, files are all there uh, and kept. You can save them on the actual app themselves. And uh, for those that require uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, access to those files, they have an optional um, subscription service that lets you uh, export those files to CAD programs. So if you're requiring, uh, say, a kitchen layout or something like that, and you wanted to use that floor plan in that 3D CAD uh, software, you can do that as well. Uh, but for us uh, basic landscapers, uh, you know, the uh, onboard functionality uh, in the app where you can save the files uh, and just uh, view them on your screen uh, for your own calculations is uh, absolutely perfect uh, for what we do. Uh, like I said, this guy can measure in 20 different ways. So things, um, like I said, in 2D, in 3D, uh, it can measure circles and arcs. It has a trace mode where you basically just walk along an area and it'll trace out. And at the same time, it's drawing that out on the screen with the measurements of that area that you're tracing just absolutely fantastic so let's take a look uh, at what comes included in the box with the Mosier one okay so the Mosier one comes in this uh, nice looking uh, sleek uh, little box uh, let's open it up and inside we find a little uh, you know getting started uh, quick guide here and then of course uh, it's got uh, a charge cable USB micro USB charge cable uh, there included and then uh, the Mosier One device comes inside this nice little uh, pouch, which uh, also has a belt loop on the back of it, making it very handy uh, to put uh, on your pants and uh, open it up there. Nice little Velcro there. And we pull out the actual device itself. And you can see it's very, very compact. In fact, uh, it reminds me of uh, you know, a traditional uh, small tape measure like this little 12 foot uh, tape measure, almost, uh, you know, the exact same uh, footprint uh, as uh, the tape measure itself. Uh, so the Mosier One on the outside, nice little uh, black uh, soft touch uh, surface to it. It's got the, the round area here and it's got an LED light. Uh, to turn on the Mosier One, you simply hold it in your hand and you're gonna give this a nice uh, firm tap a couple of times. And that uh, starts it up. You can see the LED flashing. Now you'll notice that uh, the Mosier has three rounded edges and one point. This is the uh, basically uh, the reference point. So on the bottom side of that LED is where it's actually taking its measurements from. So if you're going to put this say in a corner of a table or something like that, you wanna have that uh, LED in that corner cause it's gonna be taking that measurement from there. On, as you... uh, on the outside here, you're gonna find a micro USB port uh, that's used for charging. The unit takes about two hours to charge uh, and will literally last for days after that. I charged this when I first got it about two weeks ago. I've been playing with it on a daily basis, uh, getting to know the unit, and uh, it still has uh, plenty of charge left. The unit is also uh, water resistant, water. so uh, very, very handy. And uh, as you'll notice as well, there's no screens or anything on the outside because it's used in conjunction with the Mosier app. Uh, so the app on your smartphone is what you're gonna be using uh, when you have this uh, fired up. And it's gonna show you all of your measurements and allow you to save those measurements uh, and uh, you know name the files and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so just a very, very uh, handy uh, little unit. 
So I think all that's left is uh, to go outside and do a demonstration. I'll show you guys a couple of uh, the different measuring modes that I could see being handy uh, for a landscaping or a lawn care business for calculating uh, square footage of different uh, types of areas. So let's go check it out. Okay, so say uh, you have a garden uh, like this one here. This one's just a vegetable garden, but uh, say you wanted to figure out what the square footage of this, as you can see, it's kind of a very odd shape. It's got some interesting angles to it. It could be uh, time consuming to figure out the square footage. The Mosier makes it really easy. So I'm just gonna step uh, inside the fence here uh, just to make it a little bit easier for me to maneuver around. So uh, we'll start off turning it on. So we'll start off just by pressing the start measurement, placing it down in our first point. Moving it when it says start moving. And once you're done, hit the finish measurement. And you can see our garden bed, orient it to the way you see it on the camera. And there you go, pretty easy. The top here says it's uh, 43.64 square feet. So one of the other neat things uh, that the Mosier One is capable of doing is measuring uh, different elevations. Uh, so uh, to do that, we're gonna go into the 3D draw mode. Um, we're going to uh, start our measurement uh, and you wanna place the Mosier, you can either place it at the start and then the end and you'll get a straight line showing uh, just the disc, the elevation change or if you've got an arc like this you can place it along different points to get uh, the different uh, elevations along that edge so to get our elevation measurement we'll uh, press the start measurement and then place it at the top at our uh, highest uh, elevation and once it says start moving We'll move it till we start to see that the elevation's changing a bit. I'll just set it down there. And as we get more of an elevation change here, I'm gonna place it along more points. and then hit finish measurement. So then you can see there, if we go into 3D mode, we can rotate this around and see our highest point there on the left side of the screen to the lowest point. We can expand this to see the different points we took. And if you tap on any of those points, it'll give you the measurements, the total distance, and that uh, Z uh, axis at the bottom is telling you that the lowest point of the measurement was one foot, two and a half inches lower than the highest point. If we move along to any of those spots, you can see 
that next measurement was nine inches lower. If we move up a bit, it was four inches lower. A, a bit more, it was one inch lower than that uh, initial uh, starting point that you had uh, at the top there. So really, uh, really handy. So one of the other uh, very handy features is if you uh, have an elevation change like this and you just want to know what the gradient uh, is in percentage. Uh, so uh, the Mosier includes uh, three different modes for that. Uh, just a gradient measurement, a gradient and distance measurement, and a rise and run uh, measurement. So I'm just going to do the simple gradient measurement. I'm going to hit start. I'm going to place the Mosier 1 at our highest point. Wait for it to say start moving and place it down. Click finish measurement and there you have it. So we have a gradient of 4.9%. Now, one of the other uh, really handy features is the trace function, which basically lets you use the Mosier 1 and trace out the shape that you want to measure. So, uh, as you can see here from the back of the yard, it's got uh, a bit of a curve, uh, some interesting angles and stuff. So, if I want to measure that uh, more quickly, uh, you would go into the uh, 3D mode and go down to uh, where it says trace. And then uh, I'll just do half a yard. So I'll start out at the pole there and then cut across when I get back to this point. Start measurement, place it at our start point. Now with the trace mode, you have to remember it's actually following where you are. And you start to hear it beep, set it down. So follow your outside perimeter with it. Coming up to where I want to cut across. And then we'll just walk straight back up. And set it down. Hit finish measurement. And there we go. There is our traced space. I'll orient it how you might be looking at it here on the screen with that top perimeter there coming back down and around and you can see it's 517 square feet for that section there. Now, one of the points uh, that I will bring up about the Mosier 1 uh, is that because it is motion based, uh, there is a particular way to use it. It has a bit of a learning curve uh, when you're first uh, starting out with a unit. Like I said, uh, you know, the unit is capable of, uh, you know, give or take plus or minus 0.5% uh, for accuracy. Uh, but the more uh, you move the unit around, you twist it, you shake it, things like that the less accurate your measurements are going to be. So it takes a little bit of uh, time to learn the unit, to do measurements over and over again in the beginning, to figure out just how the unit is uh, measuring. And once you get the hang of it, then your results are uh, easily replicated over and over again, getting more and more accurate results. Uh, but just uh, very interesting uh, to get uh, started. Uh, make sure you've got a little bit of patience in the beginning. Uh, I can see people getting frustrated uh, right at uh, the get-go. Uh, the app includes a ton of tutorial videos for every mode, uh, so make sure you take the time to watch those uh, so you can see exactly how to use it uh, for that particular mode, and uh, you know, you'll be uh, well on your way to getting uh, more accurate measurements uh, the more and more you use it. 
So there you have it, Lawn Care Nation, the world's first motion-based measuring tool, the Mosher One. So as you can see from the demonstrations I did, lots of potential for landscaping and lawn care business owners to calculate uh, square footage of irregular shaped areas, whether you just wanna know uh, the square footage that you're mowing to more accurately uh, you know, price out jobs, or whether you're trying to calculate uh, that square footage uh, for different uh, shaped garden beds and things so that you know how many uh, materials to order when you're doing things like bark mulch jobs or pine straw jobs or maybe you're in the hardscape area and uh, you you know you're looking to uh, calculate that square footage of an irregular shaped patio uh, project that you're planning out the Mosher one is uh, just the tool to do those types of measurements quickly and accurately. I can see it being a fantastic uh, piece of kit uh, to put in your tool arsenal for any lawn care or landscaping business. So there you have it, Lawn Care Nation, uh, the new uh, Mosier One from uh, Mosier. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the uh, Mosier One, the world's first motion-based measuring tool. Do you think it would be handy in your lawn care or landscaping business? So that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.